Earthquakes. They're tragic. Disruptive. But rarely, if ever, happen twice to the same person. This is a story of choice, fate, tragedy, coincidence, and the internet in China. Thank you for downloading this podcast. More videos, comics, and podcasts. Please go to m and mx dot com. If you have any comments, requests, concerns, or hate mail, please send it to radio at m and mx dot com. 强忍着恐惧，李静赶到自己所经营的店里。倾斜的大楼，紧锁的大门，眼前的一切深深的刺痛了他的心。In the last two years, China had two major earthquakes. One was an eight-magnitude earthquake on May 12, 2008, in Sichuan Province. The epicenter was in a small mountain town of Wenchuan, Sichuan Province, in southwest China, and the death toll reached 68,000, the 21st most deadly earthquake on record. <laughs> Fearing for his life, this university student crouches under a table for protection. Inside his dormitory, debris falls to the ground as he calls out to his friends. <laughs> the powerful earthquake struck in the middle of the afternoon in China's Sichuan province. Classes were full of students. Offices and streets bustling with people. Five children have been killed, but Chinese state media says thousands are feared dead. The second was about 1,000 kilometers away, on April 14th, 2010, centered in Qinghai Province, in the town of Yushu. That one was a seven magnitude earthquake that killed over 2,000 and counting. Panic, terror. And misery have overwhelmed this lonely corner of southwest China. Schools, offices, and more than 10,000 homes have collapsed, sending dazed refugees staggering into dust-choked streets. At an altitude of 13,000 feet, the mountainous terrain is difficult to navigate, slowing rescue efforts. Students were buried inside their schools, a scene chillingly reminiscent of the horrific earthquake of 2008. When 87,000 died in Sichuan, a neighboring province which sits on the same fault line. Remember that place, Yushu. Two earthquakes that, for all we know, had nothing to do with each other. One in Wenchuan and the other in Yushu. And a family that we meet in 2008 in Sichuan Province, May 11, 2008. The husband and wife set up a business repairing cell phones in a town of Beichuan. Business was okay, but on the afternoon of May 12, 2008, their shop was completely flattened by the earthquake. The local and provincial governments promised to compensate them for their loss, but it was slow coming. If they wanted to restart their business, it would take a substantial loan. A friend of theirs suggested starting somewhere else, perhaps a different province, perhaps far away. A new beginning and a fresh start would put this massive loss and tragedy behind them. The wife decided to post a question on Baidu Zhidao, which is a question and answer site in China for anyone curious about anything. She asked about government compensation and her moving plans. The post resulted in a few answers, but nothing of note or interest to anyone else. So, did the couple decide to go to the big city? Too expensive. How about a close provincial capital like Chengdu, Sichuan, or Xining, Qinghai? Now, probably enough cell phone repair places there already. The couple decided to take their friend's advice and go to a mid-sized city in Qinghai Province. The idea of leaving the heartache behind was nice. The idea of starting all over again was exhilarating. No suppression could keep them down. No heartache could take them out. No earthquake could shake their confidence and their desire to run a business and provide for their family. So they decided to move to Yushu, Qinghai, 
and set up shop there. The town wasn't much different. Lots of people needed their cell phones repaired. As a matter of fact, business was so good that they expanded into women's clothes. April 13th, 2010 was just a normal day. Husband and wife probably went to bed that night thinking about new products for their clothing store. Perhaps that night they woke up in a cold sweat, still thinking about the shaking walls and floors that fateful day in May, two years prior. The next morning at 7.45 a.m., both were probably already at the store. The balls, or steamed bun, were still hot from the street vendor. At 7.49 a.m., the earthquake struck. Their business was flattened again. Netizens sprang into action and searching and scouring the web for information about Yushu and the earthquake. One innocuous post from 2009 on Baidu Jirdal came up repeatedly because it contained the word earthquake and where the woman and her family moved. Yushu, Qinghai province. Netizens quickly reposted the question where all could see the tragedy unfolding. Here was a family who had already suffered from the Sichuan earthquake. Could they really be in Yushu? What tragic coincidence. The netizen dubbed her Tragic Sister, and in 24 hours there were more than 100,000 views of her post and 1,000 plus comments wishing them well and with hopes that she will post again. And about a week after the earthquake she was able to read all the well-wishing on the web and it moved her to tears. Some wanted to donate money to her. Some people set up a store to sell things and to donate them to the family, but they refused all help and just wanted to go back to Sichuan province. Some on the web jokingly wondered where they would go next to set up a business and if their bad luck would follow them there too. Earthquakes are tragic and disruptive, but now you know they can happen to the same person twice. Fate moved them from Beichuan to Yushu. Tragedy coincidentally struck them twice. And thanks for the internet, for without it, we wouldn't know the story. Thank you for listening to Eminem X Radio. We'll see you next week. Thank you for downloading this podcast. More videos, comics, and podcasts, please go to mandmx.com. If you have any comments, requests, concerns, or hate mail, please send it to radio at mnmx.com.